Hello everyone and welcome along to today's video, looking at the last remaining investment options for Portugal's golden visa before it closes to new applications. Now, contrary to many reports, it is not too late to get onto this program, although time is running out quickly and we'll be exploring how to make sure that you can still access this route to European citizenship in today's session. Now, lots to get through today, but we will try to keep this to our usual half an hour, although there is the risk that we'll overrun potentially substantially because there's an awful lot uh, for me to show you today. Now, if you're new to my videos, my name is Jonathan. My team and I are the market leaders when it comes to Portugal's golden visa. If you've seen my other videos before, welcome back. It's wonderful to see you again. Uh, if this is your first time seeing a video of mine, well, frankly, where have you been? Um, but better late than never, welcome to the party. Um, right, let's uh, get started by seeing what we have in store for today's video. Now, many of you may have been surprised to see this video pop up on your feed. Uh, there has been a lot of uh, fake news doing the rounds recently that the Portuguese Golden Visa had already closed to new applications. Uh, as at the time of recording, sitting here at the start of June 2023, this is quite simply not the case, uh, although the ending is very much nigh and on the cards in the near future although the exact timelines are, are not set in stone. We'll be looking at that in, in just a second. So we're going to focus today uh, by looking at the legal outlook and the application timelines and the milestones that we need to hit uh, in order to ensure that anyone watching this session uh, can get onto the program and therefore secure grandfather rights to residency and ultimately citizenship in Portugal. Once we've done that, uh, we'll take a look at some of the standout investment options that now exist. Uh, so we're going to break that down into the main investment threshold. So uh, the 280,000 to 350,000 range. We'll then look at uh, an option in the 400 to 450,000 range, and then we'll close it out by looking at the 500k plus range. Uh, once I've taken you through the available investments that are on offer, we'll close things out by. Uh, quickly recapping who we are as a business, explaining our track record, history, and why uh, we're a, a leader in the golden visa space. Uh, let's be honest, uh, you wouldn't uh, expect to get through an entirety of a video of this, uh, of this ilk without having some kind of sales presentation at the end. It's important that you know uh, who we are and the credibility with which uh, uh, I'm coming from. Uh, so that's what we have in store. Um, after we've uh, recapped on the company, we will of course take you through the next steps, how to actually go about achieving your own golden visa. Uh, and we'll leave that to the very end. Uh, now, if you know me already, please, please feel free to skip ahead. But for those of you who don't know me already, my name is Jonathan. I'm a senior wealth manager here at Holborn Assets. Like I say, we will come back to the company at the end of today's presentation. I am a fully qualified and licensed financial advisor to expats around the world. I qualified back in the UK. I've been an expat for about a decade now. Uh, my mission and indeed my passion, as cliche as that sounds, is to help people all over the world to secure their family's European future. Uh, and indeed, uh, for the last little while, I have specialized in residency and citizenship by investment. If you'd like to contact me at any point, you can see my email address. It's up there on the screen. So jonathan.ralph at holbornassets.com. My door is always open, so feel free to drop me a line for any questions that you may have. Okay, so very quickly, recapping the current context. How did we get here? What's the background? Uh, well, if you've seen my other recent videos on the topic, this will be of no surprise to you. I am repeating this till I'm blue in the face. Uh, but the end of the Golden Visa has been on the cards for quite some time now. Uh, when this does eventually end, it will be the uh, it will be the end of Europe's cheapest remote citizenship option. Once the program in Portugal closes its doors, it will be significantly more difficult uh, for any non-European to get access to European citizenship through investment without actually physically moving to Europe and living here for a number of, number of years. So if your plan is to get a plan B passport or you don't necessarily intend on moving to Europe right away, Portugal is most likely uh, the best route that you have available. And once this is gone, it is gone. Uh, so there is a little bit of urgency uh, here in the current context. Now, I mentioned that there have been a few recent news stories circulating saying that the Portuguese gold visa had already closed. Let me just be explicitly clear on that point. These stories are just not true. Um, there are some reasons why uh, these stories were being published, uh, but it ultimately boils down um, to a trend towards clickbait in the internet, on the internet, unfortunately. Uh, forgive me for being explicitly blunt and direct on this point, but it is 
quite simply a statement of fact. My team and I are submitting new client cases every single day to the immigration authorities. We know what is going on on the ground. Um, and quite simply, from a legal standpoint, there is no uh, possibility for applications to be impeded in any way by the CEF, the immigration authorities. That said, uh, when the new law is eventually passed, and more on those timelines in just a second, then the scheme will be closing for good. This will likely be in the coming weeks or months. I would encourage you to watch back my previous videos on the legal framework and timelines for program closure to learn more about this point. There's been a few videos that I've put out there in the past few weeks explaining that in a bit more detail. I will put a link to that in the description down below this video. Um, so if you'd like to know more about the legal framework, do check out um, those videos. There's one in particular on closure timelines and the law, which you'll find particularly interesting if this is something you'd like to go over. Uh, in a bit more detail. However, for now, let's move past the legal framework and let's look at the actual process required for you to obtain your golden visa. Now this slide, I've used it in previous videos, it is a simplification of the process. Um, they've done that just to make it quite easy to understand. We do not need to go into any more detail at this stage in the process. Of course, if that is something you'd like to explore a little bit more and have greater understanding of how things work and the nuts and bolts and ins and outs, drop me a line. I can take you through that on a private, uh, private call. Uh, no obligations, of course, and no worries. Uh, but for the purposes of this video, let's keep things simple. This is the process required to obtain your Golden Visa Residence Permit. The whole thing takes around 12 months, give or take. And as you can see, we do most of the heavy lifting uh, from the comfort of your own home. So this includes the kickoff, uh, which, which is where ultimately we will take the decision to proceed. We will sign client agreements. We will establish your administrative presence in Portugal. That means um, obtaining your tax numbers, your NIFs, uh, opening your bank account, setting up a power of attorney so that our lawyers or your lawyers, I should say, can purchase the property for you. Uh, we'll then ask you um, to uh, send the funds to your Portuguese bank account so we can actually affect that transaction, so we can actually acquire the property uh, in your name. Once that's done, we will then move to submit your golden visa application to the authorities for pre-approval. Now, the key milestone here is actually getting your application submitted. Uh, why? Because once we've done that, we will obtain what is known as your ARI number. Your ARI number is essentially a case number for your golden visa. Uh, once you have that ARI number, you have the legal basis to access grandfather rights to the current uh, golden visa scheme in its current guise, thereby protecting you and insulating you from any potential subsequent changes in legislation. So securing those grandfather rights by getting the ARI number is very much the key deliverable on this screen here. After that, it's very much just a matter of time before we have the rest of the process sorted and get your cards issued and sent out to you. So to do this, uh, we'll now invite you to come over to Portugal for the biometric appointment. This is the first and only time in the entire process that we actually need you to be physically present here in Portugal. Once that's done, we will take care of the rest. And once the cards have been printed and issued, like I say, we will have them couriered out to your home address, wherever that is in the world. Uh, and then we can take a step back, breathe a sigh of relief because you are now a bona fide legal resident of Portugal. The, cl the clock is now from this moment on ticking on that five years to qualification for citizenship, uh, at which point you will obtain your dual nationality and that second passport. If indeed that is your goal with the golden visa. So, like I say, when you're ready to explore the best routes for you, I suggest you drop me a line at jonathan.ralph at holbonassets.com. What we will do is we'll set up a brief introductory call. I will walk you through the best available options for your circumstances. Of course, any time that I speak to someone, um, particularly for the, for the first time, there will be no pressure, there will be no obligations. It is all about just making sure that we give you the best possible solution for your family. And the only way that you can get to that best possible solution is by having tailored advice for your situation. Uh, so please, if in doubt, reach out. I am here to help. Okay, so we're going to look at five properties today and actually a couple more investment cases than just the five, uh, which will come clear in just a, just a second. We're going to take a look at three at the entry level of 280,000 euros. That is the bare minimum um, that we need to invest to get onto the Portuguese Golden Visa. 
We'll also take a look at one option in the 400 to 450,000 range and another at 500,000 plus. Now you will note that the more you are that the more that you have available to invest, the more attractive the investment case becomes. There are very good reasons for that. This is a simple matter of supply and demand. Not every Golden Visa investor has the funds to invest in a 500,000 euro property, for example. So developers do need to offer more attractive yields like you see on your screen here as the property in question becomes more expensive. Now, most of these investment cases are exclusive to my team, notably the Yellow Tulip in the 280K range, the Pelican and the Royal Obidosh in the more expensive categories. Um, and in the case of Pelican and Obidosh, these represent the most profitable investment cases on the market today with the lowest downside risk. I'll explain the rationale behind that statement in just a moment. Um, but there is a, a very good reason why we are the leaders in what we do as regards the Portuguese Golden Visa. So stay tuned for those. Okay, getting started then at the entry point. So that's the 280,000 to the 350,000 euro range. The first property we're going to look at is the yellow tulip. Now, this is actually the only investment case that I have personally seen at the 280,000 euro minimum entry point that offers a full title deed. Now, if you are unsure as, as to the differences between a full title deed and fractional ownership, do check out my other video on this channel, um, which is choosing a golden visa investment uh, in Portugal. So again, I will link to that in the description below where we'll do a bit of a deeper dive into the ins and outs of that. We won't do that today. Uh, we're gonna to stick to looking at the characteristics of each individual investment. So the yellow tulip, um, a full title deed is a very, very interesting advantage, uh, particularly at the 280,000 euro level. However, the trade-off um, is that it is quite a low yield um, versus at least one of the other alternatives in this price bracket. Uh, but the full title deed does give it uh, a very interesting differentiator. Now, where is it to get started? Uh, so this is a family uh, sun and beach hotel. It's right on the coast in the Algarve. It's nestled right in between Lagos and Portimao. Uh, it's near the region's prestigious golf courses. It's near Alvor's historical town center and other attractions, of course, Portimao being the home of Formula One in Portugal. There is an option in Portimao, which we'll come on to in just a second. Uh, and these are the key facts around the yellow tulip. So it's a completed building, so no construction risk. Very, very important when we start looking at downside risk protection is we minimize construction risk. Uh, again, go back to my video, how to choose a Portuguese golden visa investment if you're unsure uh, as to the risks that you should be looking out for when selecting your investment. What we're talking about here is a refurbishment project that is a requirement in order to qualify at the 280,000 euro minimum entry level for Portugal. Uh, you are buying a full title deed, as I mentioned, you are buying a full title deed to two studio apartments, which makes this very interesting for the price point indeed. Uh, so two separate studios of just over 25 square meters uh, of space each. Each studio consists of a living area, bathroom and a private balcony. As I mentioned, this is a four star resort in the Algarve. It is rated 6.8 out of 10 on booking.com. However, if you do a little bit of a deeper dive and try to understand the negative feedback there, uh, that almost exclusively refers to the need to refurbish the building, which is exactly what we're looking to, to do here and what, gives it, uh, what makes it such a, an interesting opportunity. Um, it's currently branded as the Yellow Alvor Garden on booking.com, so do check it out in your own time. After the renovation work is completed, it will be rebranded as the Yellow Tulip to reflect the uplift in quality of the accommodation. Um, and an extra perk of ownership um, with the Yellow Tulip is that the owner can use it for up to two weeks per year, which is more than enough to meet the ongoing residency requirements in Portugal. Okay, the most important part of any investment proposition is always the investment case. So this is where we'll uh, do a little bit of uh, drilling into the detail in, in this and all the subsequent investment cases we're going to look at today. Okay, so this is a refurbishment project and the first two years do not offer a rental yield as a result. However, the developer is prepared to offer the equivalent of a 3.3% gross rental yield upfront for years three, four, and five. 
Now, net, that works out at around 22,000 euros. Rather than uh, paying this uh, to you directly to keep this simple and as tax efficient as possible, uh, this is essentially paid to you in the form of paying the uh, taxes and fees on the property deal. So there is no further yield after this. The developer is essentially using that yield to cover the purchase taxes um, and the land registry fees on your behalf. And of course, the VAT on the, res uh, on the uh, renovation works. Um, the same uh, buyback conditions um, are offered across this and our other exclusive uh, investment property options. So um, the exclusive developer that we work with is called Excelium Capital. Uh, now there are three properties in today's presentation that concern that developer. It's the Yellow Tulip and the Pelican and the Royal Obidosh. So you will see the same buyback structure reflected across these three. Uh, this is, in my opinion, uh, the most attractive buyback model in the marketplace. Why? Because this is uh, a buyback model that offers uh, a lot more investor protection than many of the other things in the marketplace. Uh, it is an optional buyback, so the investor has four years in which to decide whether they would like to enforce the buyback or not. And then the developer must comply uh, with the investor's instruction. Um, and if the developer does not comply with that instruction, then a 20% indemnity payment must be paid to the investor. Again, this is a safety net, giving the investor extra levels of financial protection, which is very, very interesting uh, when we start talking about the context of Golden Visa property. Okay, if you choose not to enforce the buyback, you can enter into a profit sharing agreement with the hotel operator uh, from year six onwards. Now this buyback, uh, or rather this profit sharing agreement is set at 50% of hotel profit. So it's a 50-50 split. Uh, so that makes this a very, very interesting proposition if you're looking at holding the investment for the longer term. Uh, you do have the ability to live in the property after those first 10 years, if you so desire. So that's a good little uh, safety net once again, but this is not accommodation that's been designed to be lived in by the owner. This is, of course, very much an all-inclusive hotel uh, in a sun and beach destination. Um, however, just to reiterate, no construction risk, front-loaded cash flows make this an outstanding investment case. This is a great option if you're looking to tie up the minimum amount of capital and have the, the, the security of a full title deed and the safety net of the best buyback, in my opinion, uh, in the Portuguese Golden Visa market. Uh, however, what's the catch? There is only one unit remaining in the Yellow Tulip at the time of recording this video. Occasionally, we will have a couple of units that may come back when investors are unable to complete. This happens frequently uh, when investors in certain countries cannot uh, get funds out of their home country due to local banking laws or restrictions or whatever it may be. So occasionally, we do have some units that come back on sale, but there is only one unit remaining at the time of this video. Uh, it is a very attractive unit, actually. It's a pool-facing unit on a higher floor. Uh, so it's uh, definitely worth considering um, moving quickly if if this is uh, speaking your language. Okay, some renders now. So what will the hotel look like when it's finished? Uh, of course, these are simply renders, but it's to give you a flavor of what we're talking about as a hotel proposition. And if you'd like to see what the hotel actually looks like right now in the present day, then do head over to its booking.com um, page. Like I say, currently branded as the Yellow Alvor Garden, will be rebranded as Yellow Tulip after the renovation is completed. And you can see what we're talking about as a current proposition. Okay, so that's number one. Uh, next, we're going to look at a slightly different proposition here where we're talking about a much higher yield, uh, but we're talking about a fractional ownership model and we're talking about a very different market when it comes to the hotel business plan. Uh, we're talking here about a Wyndham Garden Hotel in Sabulgal, in a place called Guarada. Uh, now this, like I mentioned, has a very interesting financial case. I'll get onto that in just a minute, but first, uh, some key points around this hotel. This is a medium-sized, four-star hotel consisting of 60 rooms and all the amenities that you'd expect from such a four-star hotel. So namely, we're talking about a restaurant, a bar, conference facilities, all the essentials. The hotel is again a completed building. It is built, but it is undergoing renovation. And once the renovation is complete, it will open as a Wyndham garden. Uh, and that's forecasted to occur in the second half of 2024. Now, the fact that we're talking about a completed building, again, makes this particularly attractive. Renovation projects in general carry significantly lower development risk, uh, significantly lower construction risk 
than an off-plan development. Again, go back into my, my video, how to choose a gold visa investment for a deeper dive into the different types of risk. Um, but again, this is why I like this particular uh, investment and, and will recommend it to my clients. If you're not familiar uh, with the Wyndham Garden concept, uh, you can see how it's pitched uh, here. It's one of the mid-scale brands for Wyndham Hotels and Resorts. Wyndham Hotels and Resorts, of course, one of the largest hotel operators in the world. Um, so you may recognize some of their other flagship brands here, uh, particularly Ramada, uh, Jumps Out, Days In, Trip, Wyndham Grand, and, and Wyndham is, is a household name in itself. Um, so you can see quite clearly where Wyndham Garden fits in. Now, where is this hotel? Now, this particular hotel is located in Sabugal, which as I mentioned is in Guarda. Uh, now, this region welcomes around half a million guests per year. Uh, of which the vast majority are domestic. It's actually around three quarters of all visitors. It's a mix of domestic tourism and business travel. It's an area of outstanding natural beauty and tradition. It's in the heart of the Riacoa region. Uh, it's actually the most popular jumping off point, the most popular access point um, to one of Portugal's um, most popular nature reserves, uh, Serra de Marcata. Uh, this is an area of fantastic tradition, great access to nature, largely untouched. Uh, and one of the defining features of this area is the large number of well-preserved castles in the area, which speaks to its rich history. There's a lot to unpick. So if you're a bit of a history buff, uh, then I do recommend taking a bit of a tour uh, of this, this part of Portugal because it is a very, very interesting place. Now, in terms of access and in terms of fundamentals for an investment case, we are about half an hour away from the Spanish border with this hotel. So that gives uh, this Wyndham Garden a uh, great strategic location when it comes to business travel. We're also about 90 minutes drive over to Salamanca in Spain. Uh, it's about a two hour drive over to Porto. Uh, and it's about a three hour drive uh, down to the west, down to Lisboa, down to Lisbon. Uh, so it is an interesting strategic location. Now, as always, the most important information of all is the investment case. Now, this isn't a full title deed. Um, I would usually recommend a full title deed to most investors. Uh, however, um, this does offer some very, very interesting points of attraction. It is a co-ownership project. So you would receive in return for your investment fractional shares uh, in the hotel. The investment level is set at 280,000 euros. The buyback is mandatory. It occurs once you have your Portuguese citizenship. The buyback is set at the same 280,000 euro level. This of course means there is no capital gains tax liability in Portugal upon the buyback. Now the financial package is where this particular investment stands out. The total value of it is around 45,000 euros. Um, the majority of that is, is made up of uh, the rental yield, which is a 30,000 euro upfront rental yield. Now this is paid to you upfront before you go to deeds on the property, which effectively reduces the required capital investment down uh, to just 250,000 euros, making this the lowest entry point investment from all the options we're going to see today. Now, on top of this rental yield, purchase taxes of 11,500 euros and VAT on construction work of just under 3,500 euros are both paid for you by the developer, uh, which gives a total package value of around 45,000 euros. Now, with this hotel, you can also stay here for free for up to seven days per year. This allows you to meet the ongoing residency requirements of Portuguese citizenship. You can also stay in any of the developer's other hotels across Portugal. Now, why do I like this uh, investment case? I've spoken in the past about my preference for full title deeds um, and for the preference for the buyback guarantees that we can put in place with our exclusive development partners with Excelling Capital uh, and the levels of investor protection that delivers. Um, this is slightly different. It doesn't have that same pitch, but I do still really like this option because the financial case is truly outstanding for this level of investment. So if you're looking at the minimum entry point and you're looking for the best bang for your buck in terms of what can I get um, out of the investment case, this is really an option to consider. And having a renovation project in a building that is already completed, not an off-plan development, lowers the investment risk substantially, making this a very strong option for consideration indeed.
Okay, moving on to the next one now, and this is Pontoval in Portimao. Now, this does not have the same level of financial package, but it does offer the same minimum entry price point of 280,000 euros. And this time we are talking about a hard rock hotel with sea views on the Algarve. So, Pontoval is a five-star hotel that's quite a lot larger than the Wyndham Garden that we've just seen. It has 275 rooms and suites, four restaurants, and three external pools with bar areas. This time we're talking about our planned development, so a new build resort. It's from one of the largest, uh, one, one of the largest developers uh, working in Portugal today with a frankly stellar track record. Project is more than twice the size of the Wyndham Garden in terms of the amount of investment being raised. So those are the key facts and figures. Now, whilst we are talking about the fractional ownership model today with the price point of 280,000 euros, as I've just mentioned, there will be another option to invest in a full title deed uh, for a branded serviced apartment. Now these are valued at 400,000 euros and they will offer guaranteed yield options. So get in touch with me if you'd like more information on this particular route, but for now, we're just gonna focus on the 280,000 euro option and fractional ownership. In terms of location, the site of the Pont de Val Hard Rock Hotel is uh, located in Portimao. Um, so as I've already mentioned, Portimao is uh, a bit of a haven for uh, racing enthusiasts. It's one of the most popular towns on Portugal's southern, co uh, southern coast. Uh, when Formula One comes to Portugal, um, it, uh, it goes to the racetrack at, at Portimao, the national racing circuit. And Faro Airport, in terms of access, is just under an hour's drive away. Uh, the hotel is located, again, right next to some of Portugal's award-winning golf courses, fabulous beaches. Um, it's just next door from, from Alvor, um, so very, very similar in terms of location to the Yellow Tulip. Uh, a few more words specifically on the location of the immediate surrounding area, though, of the Pont de Val Resort. Uh, so Pont de Val is located right on the beach of Praia del Val. Um, the views will be utterly spectacular. Uh, all of the rooms in this phase one, which is uh, the investment phase for which we are uh, raising capital now, um, all of the rooms in this phase one will boast a sea view uh, from a slightly elevated location uh, because the hotel is situated slightly on a hillside looking down towards the water. And then just along the coastline down towards the south is Praia do Rocha, uh, which is a stunning location with dramatic cliffs. Um, and there is also the medieval fort of uh, Santa Catarina de Rio Mar, um, which provides uh, added allure. Um, it really is a, a fabulous setting. Now, this shot, I'm, uh, I, like, I like to include this shot when talking about Pont de Val. Um, I, I think it's a wonderful uh, image that just shows you the appeal of the, the location of the resort. So not only do we have Val Beach on the hotel's doorstep, uh, just a couple minutes walk away, but several other options are in the immediate vicinity if you're looking at spending a day on the beach. Uh, getting into Portimao itself uh, is also very straightforward with attractions such as the Portimao Marina and Portimao Museum, uh, which is perfect for hotel guests if, uh, any, uh, if at any point the, the weather takes a turn for the worse and we start getting any rain. Of course, not something we expect to see very frequently down in the Algarve, but it does happen and it's good to have alternative attractions on the doorstep. And of course, it wouldn't be the Algarve without proximity to a golf course. So we've got Alto Golf just a few minutes up the road um, from Pont de Val. Now, in terms of the investment case, again, the most important slide. Uh, as per the last option, the Wyndham Garden, this is a fractional ownership model. Again, it is a 280,000 euro buy-in and a 280,000 euro buy-back. The buy-back occurs from year six, and the financial package on offer is slightly reduced versus the Wyndham Garden, but it is still attractive with a total value of approximately 30,000 euros. This is essentially comprised of 12,000 euro worth of purchase taxes and 18,000 euro worth of VAT on construction work. Now, as per the Wyndham Garden, the Hard Rock Pont de Val offers free stay of seven days per year uh, in this or any of the developers' other hotels across Portugal, meaning that it's very, very straightforward for you to meet the ongoing residency requirements. 
Moving on now, so we're now gonna take a look at something a little bit different. So stepping away from the minimum entry point in the market, and we're now gonna take a step up to the 400 to 450,000 euro bracket. Now don't panic if uh, you do not have that level of funds available straight away, because there are, uh, well, what I'm about to show you is an interesting mechanism that gets you access to a very, very profitable um, apartment in a hotel at this access point with a lower capital requirement, and that's down to the way that the upfront rental yield is paid. It also gives you access to a full title deed. So this is a very, very interesting uh, case that I'm about to show you now. The case is called the Pelican Hotel. I've actually had many, many clients contact me um, requesting options at the 280,000 level or as close to. And then after further discussion, um, we've realized or uh, understood that the Pelican was actually the right route for them. Um, so don't panic if, you, if you're not looking at spending that level of, of capital just yet. Hear me out, uh, because this is a very, very interesting route. Now, uh, I mentioned that this is an exclusive Golden Visa investment case. It's only available through our team. Uh, we are down to the final three units available, um, but the yield on offer is very, very interesting. And I'll go into all of that in just a, just a quick second. Before we do that, um, the Pelican Hotel is actually located right next door to the Yellow Tulip. So again, we're talking about Alvor. Once again, fantastic strategic location, easy to access, heart of the Algarve, very well established uh, Sun and Beach Resort. It's about an hour's drive away to the Spanish border uh, and about an hour and a half uh, to drive up to Lisbon. Right, so what are we talking about here with the Pelican? We're talking about a four-star apartment hotel in Alvor, as I've mentioned in the Algarve. Uh, it's a recent build, completed, fully redone to an as-new standard in 2021. So as a result, it qualifies for the Golden Visa at the 400,000 euro mark. However, as I've mentioned, um, we have exclusive terms on this property that reduce the capital required significantly. So do bear with me for a few more minutes. In terms of the properties available, um, we have a mixture of one bedroom uh, units and two bedroom units. The vast majority of these have now been sold. Of course, there is the potential for a couple to come back on if investors are unable to complete, but that's looking unlikely uh, now. So what we have is, uh, is a couple of units that have come back. These were units that were sold, um, but the investors were unable to complete. Now, interestingly, each one of the units we have available are amongst the more attractive units in the hotel. Uh, so what is there is, uh, is, is definitely worth uh, considering if this is ticking the right boxes for you. Now, we are of course talking about full title deeds. So you are uh, the outright owner of the unit that you uh, select and acquire. Um, this is quite unique uh, to the market. As I say, most options in the Golden Visa space are fractional shares and the full title deed model does give you a little bit extra downside risk protection, a little bit of extra security, which a lot of my investor clients uh, do appreciate. Now this hotel is operational. It is well reviewed on booking.com. You can even book a stay there right now if you so desire. Um, and as a four star resort, it has all of the amenities that you'd expect. So restaurant, bar, pool, parking, all of that. Um, but what is most important is of course the financials. So firstly, let's look at the investment yield. Now the Pelican pays an upfront rental yield of somewhere between 3.5 and 4% per year for six years. Now this means that you receive um, well, 3.5 and 4%. It's actually being boosted uh, recently. So we're now running a special offer. Uh, well, the developer is running a special offer just to make sure that we can uh, sell all remaining stock quickly uh, so we can now move on and close out um, the golden visa before the law changes. So the terms available are now uh, actually significantly better uh, than, than what I just mentioned. And we can now get um, between 3.9% and 4.5% per year um, on the Pelican, which makes this an outstanding uh, option. There's one unit remaining um, amongst the one bedrooms. There's two units remaining amongst the two bedrooms. Now the one bedroom uh, pay a rental return of 93,600 euros and the two bedroom units pay a rental return of 121,500 euros. The one bedroom being priced at 400K as we saw in the previous slide and two bedrooms being priced at 450K. Now this rental yield is paid upfront to you before the property is purchased, which ultimately reduces the capital requirement down. 
So with a one bedroom being priced at 400K, that 93,600 essentially means that the capital requirement for uh, a one bedroom in the Pelican is reduced down to just over 306,000 euros. So you'll notice 306,000 euros is only just a little bit more um, than we were talking about with the 280,000 minimum. So you can acquire a property value of 400,000 euros that qualifies at the new build pricing point uh, for just over 300K, plus of course the taxes on the deal, which in this case are not covered. Interestingly, with this being, uh, again, one of our exclusive investment options, it offers that uh, protected buyback. So a 100% buyback after your citizenship is obtained, the buyback is set at 400,000 euros. Uh, and again, you have the first four years to decide if you would like to enforce it or not. And if you enforce it and the developer does not comply, then there is that 20% indemnity penalty. I, of course, I say the buyback is at 400,000. That's for the one bedroom units. The buyback is at 450,000 for the two bedroom units. Um, and one very interesting perk of investing in the Pelican is the amount of free stay um, that you're offered with this particular unit, up to four weeks per year, uh, which is an awful lot uh, if you're looking at spending a bit more time in Portugal and having some, some family holidays out there. So not only is the investment case uh, truly uh, a cut above what is available at the 280K level, uh, but for just that little bit extra investment, uh, you can secure something that gives you great ability to stay there. It is something that has no construction risk, no renovation risk, uh, because it's completed and it's operational. Um, but yeah, uh, this, this is something that really offers the best of every world. It is a high rental return. It is minimal downside risk because of the fact there's no construction risk it's a full type of deed property and it gives you that added perk of being able to stay there for up to four weeks per year uh, so it's no wonder that this is one of our uh, fastest selling uh, properties um, so how long will these three units remain uh, available remains to be seen um, but you never know so do get in touch with me if this is something that you'd like to to learn more about and see what is available uh, because this, these things do change uh, quite regularly Okay, a few photos now just to show you the property. Now, this is the exterior. This is uh, a view from the gardens. There's actually the pool uh, just, uh, just out of shot here. Oh. Very quickly, this is a, a view from inside uh, a one bedroom unit. So you can see the private terrace there and the bedroom area with the twin beds. This is a view of the front side of the property. So the pool area just behind there. Uh, incidentally, the yellow tulip is out of shot to the right hand side. If the drone were to zoom out and, uh, and and fly a little bit higher, we'd be able to see the yellow tulip as well. Uh, but you can see here the, the distance to the sea, it, it really is not far at all, so it's a great location. Uh, a view from private balcony, the pool area, like I said, as you'd expect from a well-reviewed, well-regarded four-star hotel, it's a very, very nice place to be. Uh, common areas here, um, and of course, I can show you walk-arounds and, and, and walk-through videos uh, if you're interested in this particular development. Do just reach out and, uh, and I can show you in a little bit more detail what we're looking at there. So that's the Pelican, a very, very interesting option, as I'm sure you'll agree, um, particularly if you're able to go just a little bit higher than the entry point and think a little bit outside the box. So one to consider. Now, what I'd like to show you is the star of the show. Now, the star of the show is the highest rental yield option um, that we have available. It's the highest rental yield option um, that exists in the Portuguese Gold Visa. I haven't seen any investment case that has come close to this. Uh, now, let me, let me explain that to you uh, here. This has been our top seller. It is a wonderful investment case. Again, it is exclusive. It is only available through our team. It is the Royal Lobby Dosh spa and golf resort i have spoken about it on a few other videos it is my personal favorite for a number of reasons um, but it is an investment case of up to two hundred thousand euros depending on the route that you go down it offers a full title deed to uh, a five-star uh, resort in historic obidosh with panoramic sea views and that same buyback contract now a little bit more information here so what what is the obidosh actually for now, you'll notice this is, of course, a very, very different price point um, because we're talking about the 500K bracket. So this is for Golden Visa investors that have a little bit more uh, funds to invest, but are looking for the best available investment case at any price point. So if you're looking for maximum bang for your buck, 
uh, this is certainly the one to go for. And I'll, I'll explain why in just a second. It's also an outstanding option if you're looking to spend significant time in Portugal, but not necessarily looking to become a tax resident and live there full time. So I'll explain how in just a second, but it really is uh, a phenomenal investment case. Before we get into that, location, let's get started. So. Royal Abidosh Spa and Golf Resort is a five-star hotel in, like I say, historic Abidosh, uh, which is just on the Silver Coast, just north of Lisbon. It's just under an hour's drive to the north. Um, it is just south of Nazare, which is the surfing capital of Europe. Uh, it's just a few minutes away from Obidos's town center and the renowned lagoon. It's one of uh, the area's renowned uh, water sports centers. Um, so it really is a, a lovely location, very, very accessible for international investors, with Lisbon being your closest airport. Now, in terms of key facts, so this is the 500,000 euro golden visa category, but there are two uh, routes to invest, and you don't need 500,000 euros to be able to invest in this option. Uh, the units that we're talking about were built in 2021, what we're actually talking about um, are these units here in front of the main hotel concourse. The main hotel concourse uh, is still a recent build, uh, not quite as recent as 2021, uh, but it is still uh, quite, quite recent, but we're talking about the buildings in front of the main hotel. Uh, and what we're talking about are one bedroom apartments and studio apartments, which are all situated in these buildings here. Now, I mentioned two options, two routes to the Golden Visa with uh, Royal Lobby Lodge. Now, the first is the more accessible option. This is a full title deed to a one bedroom apartment. Uh, the price point here is 500,000 euros. It offers a gross rental yield of 175,000 euros. Now that is a 35% upfront yield or 7% per year for five years. This is paid to you net of Portuguese withholding tax at 25%. So, it is, so what is actually paid to you is 131,250 euros. Now that net rental yield of 131,250 can be reduced from the 500,000 uh, euro price point. So if you have 368,750 plus taxes on the deal, so call it 400 plus legal fees and incidentals, so just more than 400,000 euros, then you can invest in a property um, that is valued at 500,000 euros and comes with a, a, a buyback at 500,000 euros in year six. So that as a financial case makes an awful lot of sense. I've actually had several investors reach out to me about investing in the Royal Lobby Dosh independent of the Golden Visa, uh, just treat it almost as if it's a, a fixed income uh, investment. So as a Golden Visa qualifying investment, that really is exceptional and that's a testament to the investment case we've built here. It also gives you a very, very generous free stay allowance of up to six weeks per year for free. So this is very much the best financial case that is available in the Portuguese golden visa space today. It is something that's very, very much worth considering if you have the funds to stretch to it. It is the most popular route because of the strength of that financial case, but for some investors, the second route through Royal Lobby Dosh may actually be interesting to you. Now this is very much for the investor that's looking to spend more time in Portugal. Why? because this time we're talking about a title deed to two separate studio apartments. Now, each studio apartment has been independently appraised at a valuation of 350,000 euros. The purchase price for these two studios is reduced from that 700,000 euros, that's 350 times two. It is reduced down to 500,000 euros for our investor clients. Um, that reduction in price from 700 down to 500 is essentially the investment case. Um, so no yield is offered on um, the studio apartments. However, the same buyback conditions are still in place. The buyback occurs in year six again um, with exactly the same terms, conditions, penalty clauses, 20% indemnity payment uh, and everything um, that we talked about with previous cases. And that buyback is set at 700,000 euros. So essentially 500,000 plus taxes and fees in, 700,000 out in year six plus the passport. <coughs> Excuse me. Now that makes this a truly compelling investment if you have the funds and the ability to stretch to that level. However, what really sets this apart um, is the 
free stay. Now, because you're investing in two units, you get the same six weeks free stay per unit, but for two units. So you get up to 12 weeks free stay in the Royal Lobby Lodge um, per year. Now that's, that's three months. That's a quarter of the year that you can stay for free in a five-star hotel where essentially you are making an 8% rental yield, or not rental yield, but return on your investment through this 200K uplift. It, it works at an 8% return on investment per year uh, where you could spend a quarter of the year living for free in this five-star resort, which is a stunning location um, in one of the most desirable parts of Portugal. So if you're looking at spending significant amounts of time in Portugal, if three months free stay in a five-star resort sounds like your cup of tea and you have the entry-level price point of the 500k plus the taxes and fees, uh, then this is very much an avenue that is worth considering. It is, again, a stellar, outstanding investment option. Okay, now just doing a bit of a deeper dive because this particular investment case does merit that. Um, so what do the financials look like? How does it actually break down? I know I've given you a little bit of the summary there, but let's just drill into it so it's crystal clear. Um, yes, the Royal Lobby Lodge is more expensive than the 280,000 minimum amount, but if you go with the one bedroom apartment route, there is a huge 7% gross rental yield on the property per year, which pay to you upfront before you complete the purchase. What does this mean in practice? Essentially, you need to invest 368750 plus the purchase taxes in order to buy the property. After five years, the developer will buy you back for 500,000. So 368750 plus taxes and fees in 500 out once you have your passports. And that is assuming, of course, that you take the buyback, which is entirely up to you, and you have four years in which to decide if you would like to enforce it or not. So essentially four years of sitting back, observing the Portuguese real estate market, and understanding if it's something that you would like to enforce, or if you believe that you can obtain a higher exit value at the end of the five years. Entirely up to you. Now, Royal Obidosh, as I mentioned, is the most, is the most profitable golden visa investment anywhere uh, in Portugal, uh, full stop. I have uh, quite simply not seen anything that comes close to the investment case of Royal Obidosh. So if you're looking at getting passports and making a healthy profit at the same time, and you have more funds available than the bare uh, minimum entry level, uh, then this is, without a shadow of a doubt, uh, one of the projects that you should be considering closely. It's also extremely well managed from a risk point of view because again, the building is, well, the, all buildings are 100% completed. So no construction risk, no developer risk, no, no um, renovation risk. All cash flows, of course, except buyback are paid to you upfront. And then once again, you have the peace of mind of the full title deed. So this really is an exceptional offer. Uh, I can't stress that enough. And then recapping the investment case uh, for the two studios option. This is, of course, the most expensive option as it requires a capital investment of 500,000 euros. But my clients receive a guaranteed buyback at 700,000 euros after five years, which generates a 200,000 euro capital profit. As I mentioned, that works out at an 8% return on investment per year over the five years. It's really quite remarkable um, that we're able to achieve an 8% yield and a European passport in just five years. And don't forget, a key differentiator of going the two times studios route is that you will get up to three months of free stay in the units per year. Um, so you'll essentially pay a handsome amount of money to spend a quarter of the year in a beautiful five-star resort until you get your citizenship. So if you have this kind of money at your disposal, you like the idea of spending time in Portugal without becoming a tax resident, then this option really is the dream. It offers, it delivers on every single front. A few photos now just to show you the rest of Royal Lobby Dosh. Again, get in touch with me if you'd like for us to arrange for um, customized walkthrough videos. We can arrange for video calls with staff on site, walk you through when we start selecting your unit. But just to give you a flavor of what we're talking about, this is the exterior um, of the buildings in question. Uh, these are a couple of snapshots of the interior. In this particular case, we're looking at the one bedroom apartment uh, finish. 
And as always, I would urge you to look at the gallery, read the reviews on booking.com, get a bit more of a feel for the hotel, what we talked about. Of course, this is a completed operational hotel, so there's plenty of recent reviews up there. It will show you just why the Royal Lobby Gosh is fabulous. I've had a great many clients that have wanted to check it out uh, and actually stay there before investing themselves every single time. Um, a, a bar about bar a, a small minority of cases every single time uh, one of my clients or prospective clients have gone out the Royal Lobby Gosh to, uh, to sort of try before they buy um, they've ended up calling me whilst there and, and, and closing and saying I want this right away it is a fabulous resort and even the even the clients that have been and stayed there um, have decided not to proceed for for different reasons but every single client that I've sent out there to actually stay um, has come back to me and said Jonathan it's just an absolutely fabulous resort. Um, so really, it is a wonderful, wonderful hotel. It's a brilliant place to be. So read around it if you'd like and get in touch if you'd like for more information or to arrange for uh, face-to-faces with, uh, with the hotel staff as well. And we can show you whatever it is that you'd like to see. But yes, um, I know I, I, get, I can gush a little bit about the Royal Lobby Dosh, but it really is a fabulous op- um, proposition that I'm very proud to be able to bring to you. Anyway, who are Holborn Assets? Now that we've looked at the investment cases, just to give you a little bit of background, who are we? Why are we the leaders in the Golden Visa space? What makes us the ideal Golden Visa partner for you? Why should you have paid attention to any anything that I've told you today? Uh, just to give you a, a bit of a flavor for our track record and, and, and why we are, uh, I believe, the most credible actor in the marketplace. We are one of the largest expat financial services firms in the world. What we do as a business is we specialize in investment solutions for internationally minded people. Our aim, our company motto, as you can see on the right hand side of your screen there, is to put the right money in the right place at the right time. Essentially, that means that we act as your trusted advisors to be with you for all the major financial milestones in your life, making sure that everything is taken care of, which can be a little bit daunting, a little bit scary, particularly when we talk about international financial planning, which, as I mentioned, is our primary area of focus. We currently serve more than 20,000 clients across more than 100 different countries around the world. We manage more than $3 billion worth of client assets. And of course, uh, that sets us apart from many of the other operators in the Golden Visa space, quite simply in the fact that our core business activity is a regulated activity. So we have a UK business that's regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority, for example. Uh, we have all of our EU businesses are regulated via the well, via our, um, EU head office, which is actually based in Cyprus. Of course, we have offices in Portugal, offices across Spain, several offices in, in Cyprus and various other places. Um, and of course, we hold other uh, investment licenses for the major jurisdictions around the world. You can see a, a couple of our other uh, regulated offices on the screen there. We are multi award winners. We are extremely proud of our 4.8 out of 5 rating on Trustpilot. This image here is a little bit out of date. We're now up to more than 2,000 reviews. So do check, it, check us out on Trustpilot. Read around uh, why people trust us, why, uh, why we are uh, a credible operator in this space. Uh, and you can uh, surely see why uh, we are at the head of the market in the way that we are. And this last line on this slide here is perhaps the most important takeaway from this particular slide. We are an expert team. Uh, we have uh, handled, um, that's between us and our um, partners and our extended team, all of us working together, we have a very, very well-oiled machine um, that works to deliver golden visas at record speed, um, which is perfect for the current context. But in terms of the numbers, the most important thing to take away is 1,000 golden visas processed at a 100% success rate. Now, those type of numbers are very, very difficult for anybody else to match. We are an expert team. We are highly experienced and we have an unblemished, impeccable track record of putting our clients first and achieving the desired outcome for them. So if you work with us, you are working with a tried, trusted professional uh, with an expert pair of hands that knows what we're doing um, and, and we will see you right. Okay, so hopefully this has been a useful session for you up to now, and perhaps I've even shown you uh, which would be the best investment for you. Of course, I do recommend that we get together on a call and we go through your individual circumstances and we can go through the ins and outs, uh, the nuts and bolts of each individual investment case. 
but that should give you a really good flavor of the types of things that you should be thinking about when identifying your golden visa. Now, just to close out today's video, let's look at the next steps and how to get started with your own golden visa. First step would be to contact me and we'll draw up a quotation for you. Now, this quotation will outline all of the government fees, taxes that you can expect as, a part, as part of this process. We'll then need copies of your passports and a proof of address to run a background check. In parallel, we'll complete a client agreement and a reservation form to secure a unit in your name and we'll begin the process. Now, this paperwork is required to secure your investment and it must be returned to us at the end of June to be covered by the Holborn Money Back Guarantee. Now, this is a money back guarantee that we're happy to offer in the current context. We may extend that if the deadline is extended further. <coughs> Please excuse me once again. Still suffering from this, uh, this tickly cough. I just can't seem to shake. You'll have noticed that in the last few videos. So please forgive me for that. And thank you for your patience for sticking with me. Um, anyway, uh, like I say, the money back guarantee, Holborn are underwriting the risk of missing the deadline in all of our client agreements at the minute. As of right now, the time of recording is the start of June. Uh, we're offering that for all clients that join us um, before the end of the month. And we may extend that if Portugal continues to delay the implementation of the Golden Visa law. Uh, but as of right now, it is clients that join us before the end of June. We are 100% confident of being able to get them onto the Golden Visa program before it closes. And so that is uh, the money back guarantee that we're offering. But watch this space if those timelines are too tight for you or if you're watching this video a little bit later on in the year if in doubt reach out and i'll be happy to clarify our most up-to-date practices but where we are able to offer a money-back guarantee for the work that we do we will do so um, so get in touch if you'd like to understand our latest policy on that Okay, uh, so just pulling back to the process, we did get a little bit sidetracked there. Uh, once the uh, paperwork is back in and you've paid the reservation deposit, now that will vary according to the investment that's selected, our team will then get to work by setting up your Portuguese bank account and obtaining your tax numbers. And then once that is done, any remaining paperwork such as rental agreements, buyback agreements will be signed. The deed transfer will be affected at the notary's office and we will have your application submitted post haste to the Portuguese authorities so that we can get your all important ARI number. And then once that's done, you'll be well on your way to becoming an official legal resident of Portugal and you are on the path to securing your dual citizenship. And that's it. So that's all I had to show you today. So I hope that was helpful. Now, the first step, as I've mentioned on quite a few occasions, is to get in touch. Uh, so please feel free to drop me a message at jonathan.ralph at holbornassets.com when you're ready to get started, when you'd like to get the ball rolling, or if you'd simply like a little bit more information on the things that we've touched upon today. As I mentioned, I will link to some of my other useful videos in the description down below. So do check them out if you'd like to understand how to select the right investment, if you'd like to understand the legal framework in a little bit more detail. Um, there, there is uh, uh, quite a lot of useful information in there, so do feel free to look around. Um, you know what, as well as putting it in the description down below, I'll also put the, uh, those videos in the in screen there. So you just click on that if you'd like to segue this session into the next one. Uh, but until the next time, uh, and until the next video, I hope you've enjoyed this session. I hope it was helpful. I wish you a wonderful day ahead. And as always, thank you very much for joining me here today. Take care. Hope to talk to you soon. See you later, guys. Bye bye.